Hey guys, Adam from Sinister Custom Cycles again. Showing you a couple things on this video. Uh, I didn't get a chance to get the hill climbing videos just because I don't have a GoPro yet and trying to hold the phone when you're riding up a hill. Not the greatest thing. So I'm going to cover a couple other things here and then give you a teaser for my next build that I have coming up here soon. If you notice something, I did something different on this bike. Uh, you're going to notice there's no chain tensioner at all. One thing that I've read about a couple times, people had the question of, well, if I don't have a chain tensioner and that extra bend in the chain, can I get more power or speed? Uh, it actually worked out by accident. The, I sold another bike, had less than 30 miles on it. It had that newer, cheaper kit, and the chain tensioner broke in less than 30 miles. So I had to rob one off my bike to put it on that one so I could sell it. Now, I ordered from a new company a chain tensioner, and it took them almost a week before they even sent the order out. And our short summers here, I really didn't like seeing my bike sit there, so I thought, what the heck, let me try something. So with this adapter on the back, another nice thing about it is, like I mentioned in my other videos, you can move this back and forth to adjust your uh, chain alignment. So what I did, since there's not a lot of room to run your chain in between the fender, tire, and the rear uh, part of your frame on the bike, I, I adjusted that back uh, sprocket a little bit and adjusted the engine a little bit so I could squeeze in between because otherwise your chain will hit the frame without that chain tensioner. Normally that chain tensioner goes about here and holds this chain up to clear your frame. Well, it was really loose and I was getting towards the end of my adjustment on the chain tensioner anyway, so I took a link out to the chain and it worked out perfect. Uh, you do have two chains on here, one, one chain for the drive side for the engine and another chain for the drive for the pedals. To try and get both chains to have tension at the same time with no tensioner, very rare. Uh, but I did manage to do it. I got really lucky. I've been running for over a hundred miles without any chain tensioner. It works fine. However, no speed increase, no torque increase. Uh, it doesn't matter at all whether you got an extra, extra route for your chain or just a straight line. But anyways, one less part to go wrong. Uh, another thing I did recently on this bike too is the front fender was really squeaking. A lot of the brackets on here, they were just, that vibration was uh, just loosening everything up. So you actually see I didn't cut it off yet on purpose, just to show you. I put rubber in between the bracket and the actual fender on both uh, brackets here. I also put rubber in between the bracket here and that quieted everything down 100%. So no rattles now, uh, it's much better. And I am at, let's see here, I know I did my 1,000 mile review not too long ago. I'm actually at uh, 1,131 miles on this thing. Still running great. Absolutely love it. However, I'm selling it. I put it on Craigslist less than a week ago, getting 425 for it, and the guy should be picking it up tomorrow. I was going to keep it. It was my first build. I love it. I'm uh, just going to keep it because it's kind of special. I mean, my first build turned out great. It runs great. I just want to see how many miles I could get on it. But once I get my next build going, I'm not really going to use this one anymore. So I might as well get some money back out of it and put it towards my next one. That's about it for this one. Uh, not a whole lot else to show you on this. Any questions or anything, please ask. I'll be more than happy to help anyone out with any questions as far as where I get my parts from, how I do things, all the updates I did on this one. Uh, if you haven't checked out my other videos, check them out. There's a lot of useful information on what I did, how I did it, and where I went through to get the parts. So that's about it for this video. As promised, I did say that I was going to show you guys a teaser for my next build. It's going to be totally different. Uh, there's a lot of things on this one that just I want to change. The only brake I have on this one is a rear coaster brake. There's no front brake at all. The front fork uh, is a little weak. There's not uh, there's not a whole lot of durability on here. I'm not happy with uh, 
the way this is here. Uh, if you hit a good bump or something, or who knows, uh, it might hold up, but even this here, uh, it's only this bolt going through here, so it flexes side to side too. Just not something I'm really too fond of. So between the brakes and the front fork, I could put some money into it. Uh, front fork, a decent one, is 200 bucks. Brakes, you're looking at a couple hundred bucks front and back. And then I would still be kind of unhappy. I'd want to up my torque and top speed on here. I'd be looking at putting another seven, eight hundred bucks for like a new Vinci hub on the back and a shift kit. By the time it gets said and done, I'd be dumping an easy thousand bucks into this thing. And between the cost I already have of the bike, I got almost a thousand into it now. I'm looking at two grand for this thing. So I'd much rather put two grand into something else. And that's why I'm getting rid of this and starting my next project. Ready for it? Right there. Now here's the twist. This is only a donor bike. I'm only using some components off this bike. So I know a lot of people are going to think, oh, he's going to throw an engine on that frame, maybe throw a shift kit on there, something like that. Not even close. Uh, I'm using a totally different frame. There's just some key components that I need off this one to put on the next frame. So stay tuned. Uh, the parts are on back order right now. I'm going to place one of the final orders here within a week. Uh, right now we're in the first week of June, so it's going to be probably, unfortunately, a month and a half, two months before I get the parts. So we're looking at the end of August, beginning of September. Hi Jack, thank you for coming into my video. Awesome. Uh, end of August, beginning of September, before I get all the parts and I can start putting things together. Once I start getting the parts through and putting things together, I will put more videos on here and show you guys step by step what I'm building. It's going to be totally different. It's going to be very unique. It's going to be fast. It's going to have a lot of torque and still street legal and still have pedals on it. So stay tuned. Questions, comments, please subscribe. Uh, you can email me, SinisterCustomCycles at gmail.com, or uh, I'll put that address up on the screen here. Also, just send me a comment, and uh, I'll respond as soon as I can. So keep the questions coming. I appreciate the support, the subscribers. Uh, keep it coming. Have an awesome day, guys, and stay tuned.